India is finally building silicon that matches its scale. Chips that live in homes, factories, substations, electric vehicles and cities. Chips. India just crossed another milestone in its semiconductor journey. A working India-designed silicon chip built on 40 nanometer engineered for intelligent power workloads and designed to sit at the heart of smart meters, smart grids and edge AI energy systems. Meet ARKA GKT1, India's first generation intelligent power platform on chip, launched recently in New Delhi by Azimuth AI and Scient Semiconductors, unveiled by Ashwini Vaishnav himself. This is the chip that could quietly power the country's next leap, real-time energy intelligence for 300 plus million households, electric vehicle charging networks, industrial systems and smart city infrastructure. And for the first time, the silicon doing that work is proudly Indian. A 40 nanometer low power mixed signal SOC built for edge AI plus smart energy. Arka GKT1 is competing with the massive need for intelligence at the edge in places where cloud AI is too slow, too costly or too unreliable. This chip combines multi-core compute, advanced analog sensing, which is critical for meters and grid intelligence, integrated memory, intelligent power management, ultra-low power operation, real-time edge inference, exactly what India's smart meter mission requires. Because unlike the cloud, the grid cannot wait. Every microsecond matters. Smart meters, smart grids, industrial automation. All need intelligent power silicon that didn't previously exist here at all. India is planning one of the world's biggest smart meter rollouts, touching tens of millions of homes. Those systems require chips that can, well, do this. Read and sense power conditions, run lightweight AI models locally, manage energy in real time, operate 24 by 7 in harsh temperatures, stay secure and low power work, reliably without cloud connectivity. So until now, these chips came from outside India. Arka GKT1 is the first credible Indian alternative, designed right here, co-developed right here, built on an architecture, well, you guessed it, India owns. Exactly the kind of semiconductor India must master to reduce foreign dependence and build domestic IP. Software-defined Silicon Plus Science Full Stack, ASIC Pipeline, Arka GKT1 is built on Azimuth AI's software-defined silicon, a programmable, flexible architecture that can be updated over time for meters, batteries, robotics, or industrial systems. And Science Semiconductors brings the rarest thing in India, which is a design which leads to FAB, which leads to OSAT, which leads to package delivery pipeline. This is the model the world's top chip makers run, now happening right here in India with global clients in mind. India's IT minister, Ashwini Vaishnav, said this. This milestone reflects India's accelerating progress toward self-reliance, advanced manufacturing, and leadership in next-generation chip innovation. End quote. The translation to that? India wants design ownership, IP creation, and a semiconductor ecosystem that becomes indispensable to global supply chains. Arka GKT1 is a signal of that very ambition. The high growth markets Arka GKT1 is built for smart utilities plus metering, battery and energy management, industrial robotics, smart city infrastructure, grid automation systems, remote edge AI hardware. These are the trillion dollar industries in the making. So whichever country controls the silicon inside them, 
controls the future of energy and industrial intelligence. In conclusion, the front page take as always. So here's what today's launch really means. India's first intelligent power chip for edge AI is real, built on 40 nanometer, optimized for smart meters and energy systems. Proof that Indian startups can build full stack silicon with global grade reliability. Science ASIC pipeline positions India as a serious semiconductor design hub. Smart meter rollout plus battery systems plus industrial automation equals to massive domestic demand. India is inching toward hardware self-reliance, not just software dominance. And more importantly, India is finally building silicon that matches its scale. Chips that live in homes, factories, substations, electric vehicles, and cities. Chips that don't need the cloud to think. Chips that actually keep the grid stable. So if Arka GKT1 scales, India will be designing the chips that power the world's energy future. Please do let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you.